Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. Today is day eight of Vlogmas and I'm really excited because all of my naked stuff that I ordered from Claire Rose collaboration with them came in. So I'm gonna do a little haul and try it on for you guys. And then also something else came in that I'm very excited about as well. And that is my new Still Here jeans, but in the bone color. So I thought I would do a try on of those as well. So starting off with the naked stuff that I purchased, the first thing that I got, I there were two outfits that I just loved. There was a lot of things that I wanted to get. The one thing I didn't get that I'm kind of regretting, but I feel like I can also find it at a lot of other stores because it's just so big right now is the thin knit scarf because I just love the material and the charcoal gray color but I know there's scarves like that out there that I can find so I'm not like that mad about it but it was a good price so kind of mad but it's fine moving on the first thing I got was the belt and there was two outfits that I was obsessed with so I basically got both of those outfits so I already had an outfit that I knew would look good and also I feel like all these pieces I can wear so many different ways so I got this just plain black leather belt with the silver buckle and I'm usually one to go for the gold hardware so I thought I kind of like the silver buckle I don't have anything with a silver buckle and I'm wearing more navy than I'm like than I have ever worn before. I never really have worn navy or have had it in my closet and I really like silver hardware with navy. I think it looks really pretty together and especially the outfit she came up with or she styled. So I'm really excited to give this a go and also I feel like it would really look good with my still here jeans and another white pair of jeans that are on its way. I did some damage again which I probably shouldn't have done but I finally found in my last video that I just posted the Silver Lake jeans with the slit at the bottom. I finally found them in my size and I did it. I didn't even question it. I didn't even hesitate, which I probably should have. I just, you know, purchased it. So I have those coming. Two pair of jeans that I've purchased not even a week. Um, like time span in between them too but you know they're different and I don't have a pair of like white white like true white jeans so I'm really excited and I feel like these with this belt would look really good with it so this is the first thing I got and it looks really well made I like the structure of it I like the thickness of the belt so this belt went with this outfit that is the next thing I got you got you is the next thing I got myself and the first being this navy turtleneck and what I didn't realize in the picture or even when I first purchased it was that it has shoulder pads in the shoulders and I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I'm going to have to try it on to see how I like it because I don't want it to be like super padded and they feel pretty thick, not going to lie. But this is something that she brought back because people were obsessed with it. So I hope I am obsessed with it too. I got this in the extra small. I got the belt in an extra small small. And the material of this, the fabric, is so soft. It's unreal. So I'm excited to try it on. I hope I like the shoulder pads because I really like the feel of it. And I've been wanting a turtleneck so bad in my wardrobe for the winter time. And the last piece to this outfit is the maxi navy blue skirt. I just love that you could wear these pieces together and they were the same or similar color navy blue. I love a monochromatic look, so I was definitely into this. And I love maxi skirts, especially silk. I have one in like a cream, uh, not a cream, um, it's from Reformation. You've probably seen it on my channel, if not my Instagram before. And I love that one. It's a little bit long on me, so I feel like, and it, it feels more fancy. I don't know why. It's a champagne. That's what I would call it, a champagne color. It feels more fancy. 
So I like that these feel more casual and I can dress them down a lot. I don't know, I'm really excited to style these. I also got this skirt in a black, but first I'm gonna try this outfit on and let's hope I like it. Okay, here is the first look and I can't tell. I'm not used to seeing myself in a turtleneck. I think that's why it's, I feel a little off. First, this, I need to like stretch this out. I got it in an extra small and I wish I think I got it in a small because it's just like really tight next to my neck, but I feel like you can, it's just because it's never been worn before. The shoulder pads, actually, I don't mind because they're not so puffy, if that makes sense. They're, they don't look like you have shoulder pads on. It's really only the neck part that's bothering me. But it fits everywhere else, but the neck, just a little snug. Or maybe I'm just not used to wearing a turtleneck and that's really just what it feels like. The skirt I love a lot. It is like, I don't know, I feel like my steps, actually never mind. At first I felt like I couldn't really walk well in it, but maybe that was just I had it on weird. Because now I feel like it's good. And then I actually love the belt. I think the belt looks really good with this outfit and I love the skirt color. I think the skirt color is absolutely gorgeous. I love the navy. It's super comfortable. I know I'll wear this all the time. And I actually like the belt. I think I like this outfit. I'm just not used to it. This is the only thing that's bothering me is this neck part. It's just so close to my neck but that's what a turtleneck is. I'm just not used to it. I don't remember the last time I actually wore like a tight knit turtleneck but I love the look of it but I just feel like claustrophobic claust claustrophobic I just feel contained my neck doesn't feel like it can breathe a little bit but I just gotta get used to it I think but yeah I love this color and I don't think you can't really tell that I have shoulder pads on but I would say like I feel like if I got a small on this, it would be perfect. It would it, it would still fit me, but maybe not be so tight around my neck. I just have to like stretch it out or just get used to the feeling of something right there. But I don't know why it's like bothering me right now. But I love this. Like I love the belt. I love the silver buckle with the navy. I just think it looks so stunning with a pair of boots or even like brown suede boots would look so pretty with this or even black because I guess I have the black belt so maybe like black knee-high boots with this oh my gosh imagine that would be stunning oh my gosh stunning okay I think I love it I think I've decided let me know in the comments down below if you think I should keep it or return it don't say return it just say if I should keep it or maybe I don't know. No, I guess say keep it or return it. I guess that's what I'm asking for. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, I'm done. So moving on to the next outfit that I got was the black maxi skirt. And again, I just thought these skirts were just staples and could be a part of my capsule wardrobe. I'm really trying to build my wardrobe at the minute. I feel like I have accumulated a lot of pieces in the past few years and now looking back I feel like there's some that like I just don't even wear so I'm I really want in the new year to really go through my closet maybe I'll do a video about this go through my closet and just clean it out I feel like that's something you want to do every year especially the start of the year just clean it out and find out what I really have and what I want to throw out, what maybe pieces that, oh, okay, I can put this on my wish list to kind of complete my wardrobe. So I really want to do that. But I feel like these pieces that I purchased definitely will help build my closet. And I just love a good maxi skirt and I love black. I mean, you can never go wrong with that. And then with this black skirt, I got the v-neck black sweater. And this 
I mean, I will wear this all the time. I will wear jeans, trousers, anything. And the material is just so soft. You can never go wrong with a v-neck black sweater. And surprisingly, I don't have one in my closet. So I was really excited to pick this up. I also accidentally purchased another sweater. So originally, I made my purchase at 3 a.m. Yes, I stayed up. No, I stayed up till 2.30 in the morning making this purchase. Embarrassing, it might be, but I did. I just really wanted to get these things. Yes, I know, it's, it's embarrassing, bottom line. Everybody in my family, my boyfriend, everyone made fun of me, but you know, it happens, it's okay. I feel like my, my blur, like my camera quality is going in and out, sorry about that. But when I originally purchased, cause I was like, like going so fast, trying to get everything in my cart, I accidentally put the blue v-neck instead of the black. So I had to go back and purchase the black. So I do have the blue v-neck. I might return it because I didn't mean to purchase this, but also maybe, maybe somebody was telling me that I needed it and now I have to keep it. Because it's a hassle to just return one. It's actually not a hassle. Naked's really good about returning clothes. They make it really easy. DHL, first of all, I love that. Them, because number one, they come super quick. And number two, they are really good about picking up packages to return and everything. Incredible. And I love that Naked uses them. But I might just keep it because I'm really into navy blue at the minute. And it's a really good sweater. And maybe, you know, signs were telling me I needed both, even though my bank account was probably not telling me that. But anyway, let's try on this last outfit that I got from Naked, and then I'm also going to try on the navy blue sweater that I purchased. So here's the black skirt and the v-neck on, and I love this look. I added a white tank. This one's from Derb Avenue because that's what, how she styled it in the photo. And that's where, like, that's the photo. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this outfit because I just feel like I would wear this all the time. And yeah, I love it. I love this v-neck. I got the v-neck in a size small because I wanted it to fit oversized. Not oversized, but I didn't want it to be, like, form-fitted. And I think it fits perfectly. At first, I was scared that I was going to, like, fall off my shoulders and the v was going to be too low. But I think it's good. And, I mean, the black skirt, you saw the navy, it's the same one in black. So let me come a little closer. But yeah, this is like a no-brainer. But this is also something that I can definitely see myself wearing. The other outfit was definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I definitely had a little bit of more of a worry, worry if I was gonna like that, but I knew this outfit I was gonna love. With some, even like white loafers, guys, white loafers with this look would be so cute, or black boots, obviously, but the white loafers, love, love, love. Okay, this is this look. I mean, you can tell me what you think, but I already know I love it. Next, I am so excited to show my Still Here jeans. I have tried these on because I got them a couple days ago and I'm obsessed with them. I actually purchased them in a size down from the original, the blue pair I have. So they are a little bit more snug, but I kind of like how they fit. I purchased the 24 because I am a psycho and they were super, super on sale, and the 25s were out of stock, so I was like, you know what? Let's see if I can fit into the 24s, even though it was final sale, and I did it. But, you know, it worked out in my favor because they fit, and they look really good, and I really love them, so it worked out. But if they weren't, if they didn't fit, I was going to be so mad at myself for doing that because that was ridiculous. But anyway, I am going to try these on. Here are the jeans. I just absolutely love this color. It is an off-white, but it has some texture in them. I don't know if you can see or tell in the screen, but it has like a really nice texture. And I like that these, the buttons um, on these jeans are gold. I think that's really nice and looks really good with the cream or the bone color. I just love them. 
So these are in a size 24. The other ones I have are in a size 25. So if you like, I mean, obviously get your true size. My true size is a 25, but I decided to get the 24s just because I wanted the jeans and I wanted to get them on sale, which is insane. I know. I know it's insane, so hopefully that's a little bit better that I'm like admitting that it's insane, but I still did it. Anyway, let's try these on and let's see how they fit. So here are the jeans on, and I just paired it with the navy top because I didn't have like an outfit picked out. Let me know if you think I should keep both the black and the navy. This is the v-neck without like anything underneath. And as you can see, it's still, it doesn't hit that low. It's still pretty good. It's really comfortable, but it is, I mean, the color isn't too off from the black. I mean, you can definitely tell it's navy, but the jeans, I love them. I love the color. You can tell how they fit more form-fitted than the blue. I will say the blue fit more snug in the beginning and then as I've worn them, they've definitely, have like they definitely have gotten looser because I wear them all the time so I feel like sorry that took me way too long <laughs> but I feel like these as I wear them I haven't like worn them out of my house or for the day yet so as I wear them they will definitely loosen up around here which will be kind of nice because they are more snug right here obviously they're a size down but then also I put on the belt with the jeans just because I wanted you to see how they look with a pair of jeans and not just like a skirt and yeah I really like them a lot but that is everything that's everything I've got from the Naked Claire Rose collaboration and then my new still here jeans and I'm so excited because I have worn the blue jeans way too much in videos and I'm sure you guys are sick of them. I'm sick of seeing them in videos. So we got a new pair to work with, which I'm really excited to style this and style my new naked clothes and bring them into another styling video. But that is day eight. I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you guys are notified every single day when I post. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love you.